It's time for your weekly financial workout with your elite personal trainers, Ryan and Bob Payne, guiding you on how to build a stronger and more robust financial plan. So get ready. We're about to pump you up. Live from the greatest city in the world, this is No Pain, No Gain. Good morning. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Payne Capital Management, along with my father, the man with the plan, and the most handsome uh, financial planner who ever lived, Bob Payne. Good morning, Dad. What's shaking on this uh, fantastic January weekend? Well, great news for you, Ry. You have your alma mater is now number one once again in the rankings. Villanova basketball, number one in the country. I take all the credit, Bob, or at least 90% of the credit <laughs> for all their success uh, on and off yeah. the basketball court. I just wonder but, why uh, the track team never gets as much attention as the basketball team. Maybe because they bring yeah. in so much money. <laughs> no one cared about going to my track meets. That's the problem. <laughs> it is very exciting, but yes, it is a little bit of salt into the wound being a, uh, being a former track athlete of Villanova University. But uh, overall, it's always nice to see the Wildcats doing well. So go Wildcats. So Bob. All right. I have a little trivia for you this morning. Do you think you can handle it? I'll try, son. I'll try. Is paper money actually made from paper? Well, I um, I just pulled out my wallet and I have a couple of dollar bills here. And you know what I say? If it looks like a duck and it sounds like a duck and it quacks like a duck, it must be a duck. So I'm saying paper money is made from paper. Well, guess what? You're wrong. Ah. <laughs> Uh, paper money I'm is actually wrong, Rye, but I'm never in doubt. Just remember that. That's just, <laughs> exactly. Paper money is actually three quarters cotton, one quarter linen, and also has small red and blue synthetic fibers woven throughout the bill. So uh, paper money is in fact not made out of paper. So just uh, interesting fact. Next time you hear money called uh, paper money, it really isn't. I'll keep that in mind when I make my suit for St. Patrick's Day. I'll be dressed in green and I'll just sew a couple dollar bills together. Sounds like a winner. <laughs> perfect, perfect. It'll be a great wardrobe for you, Bob. Uh, well, we have a fantastic show this morning to help you on your path to financial freedom. We're going to talk about traditional IRAs and Roth IRAs. What are the differences between these two types of accounts, and what's the better savings vehicle for you? Bob and I are going to break that down for you. We're going to talk about facts you don't know about your retirement savings. A lot of what we think we know about saving for retirement no longer applies. Bob and I are going to address some of these fallacies. Along with this week's financial pornography, there's a lot of bad information out there this week. We want you to be aware of it so you can avoid it. And on this week's Spotlight segment, where we actually take a real retirement plan and we break it down for you, we have my brother, Bob's son, Chris Payne on the show this morning. So it's going to be an all pain, no pain, no gain radio show this morning. So let's hop right to it. Bob, let's talk about traditional IRAs and Roth IRAs. You know, most of us don't have a clear picture of whether we should contribute to a traditional IRA or a Roth. So what are some of the differences and, and what might be the best fit for you, Bob? I guess what you're saying, Rye, is to Roth or not to Roth? That is the question. <laughs> exactly right. Yes. Very Shakespearean. Very Shakespearean. <laughs> <laughs> Very Shakespearean of you today, son. Well, let's first of all, let's talk about the two differences, right? A traditional IRA, you're able to contribute money into a plan, you can deduct it against your taxes. So you get a tax deduction. So if you made 70,000 last year, you put 5,000 into a plan, you pay tax on 65,000. The rest grows tax deferred. Where in a Roth IRA, you put $5,000 into a Roth IRA, there is no deduction. The benefit is, however, it grows tax-free forever. Yes, that's a great benefit. Uh, whereas to your point, Bob, on the IRA, even though you get the benefit up front to put the money in with the deduction, once you're 70 and a half, you have to start taking that money out and pay taxes later, which in some cases can be very problematic because if you have a lot of money in retirement accounts, that could be what we call a ticking tax time bomb because all the taxes are going to start coming due around the time you're 70 and a half. You're going to have to start paying taxes on those accounts every single year as the IRS forces you to make withdrawals. You know, a lot of you should consider rolling over part of that money now, you know, taking the hit on taxes. It'll be less in your lifetime if you take some of that money from your traditional IRA and put it in your Roth IRA. Not a bad idea, Rye. With this new tax law, some of us are actually in lower brackets, believe it or not. Yes, it's a good time to look at that. And if you're contributing to your 401k at work or your retirement plan at work, 
you also may have the option for what we call a Roth contribution, where you, you can put some of that money in after tax and never pay taxes on that money again. And to your point, Bob, since now the tax rates are lower this year, it's a great, great time to start looking at that. Great time to talk to your accountant, talk to your financial advisor. The Roth option actually might be the best thing to do this year, which maybe last year didn't make as much sense. Well, you know, I think what I hear you saying, Rye, is that uh, it may be a good idea to put some into a traditional 401k and some into a Roth 401k. It doesn't have to be all or none. You can actually put some in each, and that might be the best solution. But you know what, Rye, the most, the most important thing you need to consider is that maximize your savings into your retirement plans. I mean, so many of the plans that you and I've worked on for over 40 years, we're seeing them come into fruition. How gratifying it's been for us to see people achieve their goals because they followed our strategies, they followed our suggestions, and the biggest suggestion was to max out your retirement plan contributions. Take advantage of that match that your company gives you if they give you a match. As you go into your financial red zone, it is the difference between having a life well funded as opposed to struggling is by maxing out those contributions. And it's January. It's time to do it. You know, up it to the max now. Don't even hesitate. Go out and do it right now. Yes. I love that idea. Front load your plan. Get as much in earlier in the year as opposed to waiting till later in the year because you get that compounding effect of your money growing tax deferred all year. Love that idea. The other thing you want to think about too is you might be eligible not only for your 401k at work, but you could also do maybe a potentially another Roth IRA contribution. But the problem is a lot of times you're limited by your income. So if you file jointly and you make over $200,000, you're not eligible for a Roth IRA contribution. However, there's a, what we call backdoor Roth. So depending on a couple different variables, and again, you want to talk to your accountant, your financial advisor about this, you may still be able to make a Roth contribution even if you make too much money. You know, Rye, that's, uh, that's always the way you roll. If you can't go in the front door, you go in the back door. <laughs> <laughs> a backdoor man like that uh, old door song. Well, you know, this is a tax loophole, which is legal. And you discovered a number of years ago, and, and I'm one of the beneficiaries. This is an option that may not be available in future years. So you want to take advantage of it now. Very simple strategy. You need to open up an IRA, make that contribution, immediately convert it to a Roth, and you have money growing tax-free for life. Yeah, but just the caveat there is there's other variables that you need to consider to do that. So don't do it on your own. Talk to your tax advisor. Talk to your financial advisor. Specifically right now is the best time to look at all these things because it is the beginning of the year. And you might be thinking to yourself, what's the best way for me to save this year? If I'm retired already, is it time to start converting money from my IRA to a Roth IRA? What's the best way to do it? Here's your shot to figure out how to do all these things. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, Bob and I will run for you our total financial master plan and we'll do it with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review that encompasses your entire financial life. We're going to take every statement that you have. We're going to load everything up and build you your personalized portal to view your whole net worth, to view your whole financial picture. And then we're going to do a full x-ray of your portfolio. We're going to determine number one, what are the fees that you're paying within your portfolio? Are you being overcharged? Bob and I are going to point out all the fees, including those hidden costs and mutual funds, annuities, insurance products to make sure you're not being overcharged. We're going to look at income. Income is so critical for retirement. Are you optimizing the income on your portfolio? Bob and I are going to show you how to increase the income to make your portfolio retirement ready. And we're going to look at diversification. What risks what pitfalls do you have in your portfolio? Bob and I are going to break it down and show you exactly how to protect yourself in case of a market decline. Then what we're going to do is we're going to tie everything together and we're going to determine, are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies our family has literally worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. So give us a call at 844-PLAN-NYC. You can call us or text us at 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you've saved over 200000 for your retirement, our team will run for you your own personal total financial master plan. No obligation, no cost. Just give us a call. 844-PLAN-NYC. Just call or text 844-752-6692. 
This is Bob. I'm with my son, Rye. We are No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with a team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Officer here at Payne Capital Management. And the Dow Jones Industrial Average knocked out yet another record this week, this time posting its fastest run to a midpoint milestone in its history. Market closed above 25500 for the first time, and it only took seven trading sessions. Now, this comes after recently crossing a major milestone at 25000 which at the time was the fastest such move in the 121-year history of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Now, let's face it, no serious investor puts any stock at a 1,000-point move or a 500-point move. And especially now, with the market at all-time record highs, on a percentage basis, 1,000 points isn't what it used to be. However, it does give us a way to gauge just how rapid the advance has been for equities, despite rattling off 71 new highs in 2017. Now, the reason given for the big moves in the market have been a business-friendly tax bill that was just passed and also hope for an infrastructure bill. But the real reason the markets have been moving higher has been global synchronized economic expansion and earnings. And as we enter earnings seasons, expectations are very high. Now, the Dow and the S&P have already gained over three and a half percent so far in 2018, but they have a lot of company. We also have new highs in small and mid-sized companies up over three percent for the year. And we're seeing big moves all over the world with developed markets up three percent but even bigger moves from last year's big winner, the emerging markets, up 4.5% year to date. Now, that's been trumped by movement in the energy MLPs, up over 5%, but the world-beating performance, believe it or not, is coming from the frontier markets, up over 6% already in 2018. Now, one fly in the ointment has been interest rates, as we saw the 10-year Treasury yield hit 2.5%. Now, prominent money manager Bill Miller suggests that if bond yields continue to rise, it won't hurt equities. It actually might cause a stampede into the equity market, causing the stock market to have what people are calling a melt-up. Now, remember, bonds go down inversely to yields. If yields keep going up, people, especially in bond funds, are going to suffer losses that they haven't seen in 30 years. So with all this good news, keep in mind that markets don't move in straight lines. As I always say to my buddy Joe at this time of the year, You know, wouldn't it be great if we could just annualize the returns we have in the market, call it a year and take the rest of the year off? Well, unfortunately, the markets don't accommodate you. And don't be surprised if we see one or two 10 to 15 percent corrections. Now, trying to time market corrections always results in tears. Bull market declines come and go very fast. You don't want to miss out the gains that follow in a big, booming bull market. Now, if you're sitting there wondering, Am I positioned properly to take advantage of the greatest bull market of all time? Well, don't sit there and wonder when you can know. Give us a call at 844-PLAN-NYC. Call or text us at 844-752-6692. This is Bob Payne, and we are No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. With a constantly changing financial landscape, Having a written, customized plan is more important than ever. In New York City, turn to the team at Payne Capital Management. Call 844-PLAN-NYC to schedule a complimentary financial review. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Time for some New York City trivia. Did you know the East River is not a river? It's actually a tidal estuary or a tidal strait. It's a good reminder that things aren't always as they appear. For some financial examples of that concept, keep listening to No Pain, No Gain. It's No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. Bob and I want to educate you. We want to make sure that every week you get the most practical, common sense advice. We're common sense type people, simple men, and we want to make sure that you get the most common sense advice when it comes to your planning and investing. And that's why we put together our latest guide that gives you the highlights of the new tax reform. You can access your own copy free if you simply text the word bullish, that's B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word bullish, to 555 
888. Our accountant did a great job just putting together the highlights of the new tax reform, everything you need to know so you can do the right type of planning this year on your portfolio, save on your taxes. So simply text the word bullish to 555 555- 888 and get access to our newest guide that highlights the new tax reform, all the important highlights you need to know at 555-888. Simply text the word bullish. And in this segment, we want to talk about retirement savings. Bob and I found that there's a lot of beliefs we have about our investments and retirement that are flat out incorrect. And Bob, the one I always think about is you can withdraw 4% of your money every year without worrying about running out of cash. Why is that just flat out wrong? Well, you know, right, it's a uh, urban legend in the financial services industry that if you just simply withdraw 4% the year you retire and you increase the dollar amount by inflation each year to maintain your purchasing power, you'll be set for life. But uh, you know, a lot of recent research has turned that uh, urban legend on its head. Well, the first thing I think about just from a practicality standpoint, when you're pulling money from your savings account, you've already paid taxes on it. So it's what we would call free and clear of taxes. However, when we take money from a retirement account, you know, whatever you take out of there, you've got to factor in what is taken out for taxes. And the reality of it is you could be paying 30% of every dollar that comes out to Uncle Sam. So that's a part of a complex calculation you need to run when you're actually doing withdrawals from your portfolio. Well, you know, that's what people like. They like simple rules of thumb. And I know you are very anti rules of thumb. So it really has to be customized. And that's what I like about using tools like the 360 financial portal. It gives you a window on your financial future. It'll show you you know, the impact of taxes when you start to withdraw from your retirement plans. It shows you the impact on your expenses when, you know, when you factor in inflation. You know, every one of you is an individual and every one of you has a unique situation. You need to run these numbers. No one can do these calculations in their head. And you certainly, Rye, you do not want to follow, oh, I can take out 4% a year or 3% a year or 2.5% a year or base it on whether the market goes up or down. It's just, you know, these are rules that were written a long time ago. They're urban legends. They're not for you. You know, they're for someone that we don't know. Yeah, exactly. And that's why I love that portal because what we'll do is we'll load in every asset you have and we'll also define it. Is it an IRA? Is it a Roth IRA? Like we talked about today, is it from a brokerage account? And we can figure out how to optimize how you pull your money out of your portfolios because that's critical is over your lifetime, you need a game plan for where exactly to pull the money from. Do you take it from your retirement accounts? Do you take it from your brokerage account? And we essentially can show you how to optimize that when we build you that portal. The other thing that I found is a big misconception when it comes to retirement planning is you're only going to need 80% of the income you need it when you were working. And Bob, we found that's flat out just wrong. No, you know, it's so amazing. When you retire, you think, okay, I'm just going to maintain my same lifestyle. But everybody goes a little nuts, you know, the first couple of years in retirement, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, forget the first couple of years. And we have clients in their 80s that are traveling every year. They love to spoil the grandkids. And we found that, I mean, on the safe side, you're talking about 100%, if not more, you're going to need in retirement just because of all the things you don't think you're going to continue to do. Even though you're not working anymore, you're going to find a lot of other fun stuff to do that's going to basically make up for all that time you were working. And those things cost money. Yeah, they sure do. And it's, it's you know, and I want everybody to enjoy your life. But the rule of thumb that, you know, the financial advisors in the industry have been trained on is that you take 80% of your after-tax income and that's what you need to live on in retirement. Well, I can tell you, I call all my clients all the time that are retired. I can't get them on the phone. They're too busy living life. And what's going to happen is you're going to spend more in retirement, believe it or not. And that's not a problem. You just have to plan for it, right? You have to plan for these trips. You have to plan for your gifts to your grandkids. Last I checked, Rye, you know, nobody gets out of this deal alive and no one's able to take it with them. So you might as well spend it. You might as well enjoy it but you want to make sure it lasts. Well, the other thing too is it's more like the buzzkill on this. Is, the buzz yes, there's a lot of fun things you want to do. But the one thing I find that you need to account for, and we've talked about this a lot on the show, is just ongoing medical expenses. You know, As we live longer, we've estimated for a couple that's 66 are going to need over a quarter million dollars over their lifetime just to fund any sort of health costs that come up. 
And that's something I find that you're not factoring into your projections. And that can derail your retirement if you're not thinking about that ahead of time or you're not looking at those variables. You know, other things too are just those unexpected expenses. I mean, sometimes you got to replace the roof on the house. Sometimes you need to buy a new car. So a lot of these things are going to happen during retirement and they need to be they need to be factored in, Bob. Yeah, I agree, right? And and what really upsets me is when you sit there and you fret about your future and you worry about the things that you just talked about. What if, what if, what if? Well, you know, don't fret, don't worry. Sit down and do a plan. Make sure and do some projections. Do some what if scenarios. You know, address your fears. And that's really what enjoying retirement is about, is addressing the fears, not just for you, but for the person you're sleeping next to, the person you care most about you know, your family, put their mind at ease. You know, I really, it really disturbs me when the older we get, you know, the more uncertain we become about our future. And what I say is don't worry, call us, you know, sit down with fiduciary, run projections, look at the numbers, the hard numbers. It'll make you sleep like a baby. I don't mean like you, Rye, where you wake up every two hours crying. I'm talking about sleeping soundly and enjoying life and having a life well lived. Yeah, speaking about sleeping comfortably, another scary statistic I saw, another fallacy is we, you know, if we have a million bucks, we're set for retirement. And sadly, if you take 13 US states and New York's included in that, 1 million is only projected to last you 20 years. So, you know, you got to get serious about your planning and you need to run these numbers to figure out if the money's going to last. Yeah, so right, right. You got to get financially organized and you know, a scale of one to 10, most people you meet, where do they come in on that scale in terms of being It's not pretty, Bob. It's not not pretty. pretty. (laughs) So I'd say around a three, four, if you're lucky. That's bad. I mean, where should they be, right? Where would everybody, where should everybody be when it comes to being financially organized? Bob, don't we all just want to be a 10? Yeah. Well, you know what? If you'd like to rank a 10 in your financial life, all you got to do is give us a call. You know, what it would be like to have all of your financial documents and data organized and simplified. And if you're one of the next few callers and you've saved over $200,000 for retirement, Rye and I will make you a 10. We'll create for you your own customized 360 financial portal. You know what this means? You don't have to keep up with all the passwords, all the sign-ons for all the different account numbers that you have for every brokerage firm, every bank account, every insurance policy, every annuity, virtually everything with a statement and online access. We can simplify it, organize it, into one financial portal. Wouldn't it be amazing to be financially organized? What if something happened to you? Think how easy it will be for your spouse to keep your life working, to transition your financial affairs in a worst case scenario. And if you're one of the next few callers, we'll tie it all together for you into one 360 financial portal that will give you a scorecard on how you're progressing towards the great goals of life. We'll answer that age old question, Will you outlive your money or will your money outlive you? Utilizing strategies that my son and I have now been perfecting for over 40 years. We want to help take your family from your financial point A to your point B, your goals, your dreams with your values and do it with the least amount of risk and as much certainty as a fiduciary can provide. So don't waste time. Call us now at 844-PLAN-NYC. You can call or text us at 844-752-6692. Get a holistic review. Start the year off right at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's call or text 844-752-6692. This is your shot if you have over $200,000 saved for retirement. Get the review done at 844-PLAN-NYC. You can call or text 844-752-6692. Nine two. This is no pain, no gain. Financial radio. We told you earlier that Bob Payne is managing director of Payne Capital Management. This means he oversees all the portfolio designs and financial planning strategies for the firm. For 40 years, he's worked to change the way the financial industry approaches financial planning. He turned away from the traditional Wall Street sales pitch and pioneered a new approach to retirement planning using goal-oriented, customizable plans that better fit your individual needs. Reach out to Bob 
and the team for a complimentary review by calling 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-752-6692. It's time for Financial Pornography of the Week. This is where Bob and I scour the daily financial news and call out the biggest offenders of offering obscene and profane financial guidance to help you protect yourself from making any ill-advised financial decisions. So, Bob, what did you find out there scouring the financial media this week? Who are the biggest offenders? What's going on in the world? Well, Raleigh was on the front page of Barron's talking about the mutual fund industry and how there's still $2 trillion sitting with that segment of the market where people are being overcharged to underperform the financial markets. That sounds awful, Bob. Elaborate, please. (laughs) It is awful because you know what? Now is the best time to be an investor because if you lower your cost, it increases your yield and you're able to compound your money at a higher rate of return. You can achieve your goals earlier. You can, you know, fund all the great goals of life. And you just have to be aware. And what I'm finding is that a lot of people are being abused through no fault of their own, right? It's not because they choose to go this way. It's because their 401k provider chooses this way. It's because your insurance company invests their money this way. It's really a problem. And it's something that um, you know most people aren't aware. That's right. I mean, that's a great, great point. And this is something you really need to be aware of is in these 401k plans, a lot of times you have the highest cost mutual funds. And we're living in a world now, to your point, Bob, where you know investments are relatively cheap. You can buy some really cheap options when it comes to picking your funds. Yet most of us in our retirement plans and small plans make up the vast majority of 401ks in the country. You know, We're being grossly overcharged with the funds that are being picked in those plans. They're usually very high cost funds, which is crazy. Now you're sitting there thinking, oh, my plan isn't being overcharged, but um, 90% of plans are small. And typically they have high cost funds because it's the only way the stockbroker or the insurance agent can monetize their time. So what you wanna do is go to the website and look at the perspectives of the underlying investment. And I've done that all this week, right? After I read that article, I looked at every mutual fund that was held in every 401k plan that's held outside of our firm. I looked at every annuity, looked at every insurance policy, and every single one of them had the highest cost mutual fund with 12B1 fees. Now, 12B1 fees, you know what they are? Essentially, what they do is they tag on an extra fee for whoever that broker is who sold the plan or who is your representative on whatever mutual fund was sold to you gets a commission on top of whatever the ongoing expenses are. And that, that can be an ongoing expense as well. So that makes these these funds very, very costly. Now they're very costly. And they, and they make it confusing because they, they change it. They have A shares, B shares, C shares, I shares. They have all these different share classes. So they can charge different fees for different share classes. And it very, it's very confusing for you, the investor. And that's why you need to sit down and have that analyzed. Whether you have a 401k plan or whether you have a an annuity or an insurance policy, you know, have someone investigate and look at the individual holdings. It doesn't take long for an expert, but if you're trying to do it on your own, it could take you a long, long time. Now, if you have a 401k plan and they're putting high cost fees and high cost funds in your plan, well, you can ask your employer, you know, to switch plans, right? To to get a proposal and look somewhere else. But if you're 59 and a half, you have the ability to do an in-service distribution and service transfer where you can move your money tax-free. And we've been doing that almost every day now since this article came out, right? Yeah. We have, it's important because it's your biggest nest egg could be in your financial plan. So if you're a business owner, you definitely want to know what all the fees are. And more than more than not, to your point, Bob, a lot of stuff is hidden in these plans. So it's really important to get some sort of analysis done so you can see the true cost of your plan. The other thing is, you know, this article talked a lot about these target funds. You, know, you may be in what we call a target fund in your 401k plan. And that's just a one, put your money in one fund and it, it assesses when you're going to retire. And then it should be on autopilot. The problem is a lot of these target funds are very, very expensive. So you have to start to look really closely at what these fees are. So, and if you, again, if you're not the business owner, to your point, Bob, talk to your employer, get an analysis of these fees. But, you know, most of us in America, 
where we're being taken to the cleaners when it comes to our retirement plan. And it's just not fair. No, you know, I thought with the fiduciary rule, you know, that people would be more accountable. But when you look at the target date funds, for example, there was a white paper done by a professor up at NYU, and he simply found that in most cases, the provider of the funds will choose their own in-house, more expensive funds than using an index fund because it's more profitable for them than it is to give the investor a better return. If that's not egregious, Rye, I don't know what is. Yeah, no, absolutely. And I think uh, you know, now, to your point, the good news is there are other options. You know, We live in a world now where you can shop this stuff. There are more options available. The problem is, many years ago, you didn't have all these options. So I would say the biggest red flag is if your 401k is run by an insurance company, I'm going to say odds are, 9 out of 10 times, you're probably overpaying and you can probably shop the deal. So good, good information. And just a great reminder that we really need to always analyze our fees to make sure that we're getting a fair deal. Right. Morningstar just wrote an article recently and said the expense ratio for the largest 2,000 funds out there didn't change a penny over the last three years. Not a penny. So with, it's not even pretty. Even though costs are coming down for investment, it doesn't mean that they're coming down for everywhere. In other words, if you go to Marshalls and you shop, it doesn't mean that fashion's gotten cheaper. <laughs> and the problem is... It's not that pretty to wear an expensive mutual fund, (laughs) however way you want to uh, slice and dice it. Yeah, so it's so important to know what's going on with all your finances. And if you're sitting there thinking to yourself, okay, I want to know what I'm paying on all my different accounts. I want to know, am I financially organized? Am I ready for 2017 and beyond? Here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, Bob and I will run for you our famous total financial master plan. That's when we give you a holistic review of everything. That means if you bring in all your 401ks, brokerage accounts, insurance policies, we're going to break it all down. We're going to build you a personalized portal so we can view everything and make the best decisions holistically about where you are. That includes a full x-ray of your portfolio. So we're going to look at things like income, Can we increase the income on your portfolio? Income is so critical in retirement. We're going to show you how to optimize that. We're going to look at fees. We're going to do a big breakdown of fees. We're going to tell you what you're paying in your 401k for real. We're going to show you what you're paying on those insurance policies, annuities, and we're going to show you how to potentially reduce costs on your portfolio along with diversification. What risks do you have in your portfolio? Are you protected? when we have the next market downturn. Bob and I are going to show you how to be proactive and what pitfalls you do have in your portfolio. Then we're going to tie it all together. We're going to model retirement out for you. And we're going to determine the age old question. Is your money going to outlive you or are you going to outlive your money? Utilizing strategies now, Bob and I have worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. So give us a call at 844 844- Plan NYC. Call or text us at 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers, you've saved over 200000 for retirement. Ryan and I will run for you your own personal 360 financial portal. No obligation, no cost, but you have to call 844-PLAN-NYC. Call or text us at 844-752-6692. This is Bob. This is Rye. We are the pains of no pain. No Gain Financial Radio. Your personalized path to financial freedom awaits at Payne Capital Management. For more information, go to BeBullish.com. That's BeBullish.com. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. And Bob and I want to give you the most common sense advice that you can use. That's what we do week after week here. Practical advice for your planning and investing. And that's why we put together our latest guides to highlight the new tax reform. You can get a copy of that. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. Text the word bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H to 555 555- 888. You can just get the highlights on the new tax bill so you can know exactly what to do this year for your planning and investing. It's important to know our accounts did a great job just putting together the big points, the big picture points that you need to know. You can get access to this guide. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. 
And if you want to learn more about myself and Bob, and yes, Bob is just as handsome as his voice is deep, <laughs> you can check us out on the World Wide Web at bebullish.com. That's bebullish.com. And you can sign up for our radio show if you want to get it in a podcast form. Also, we like to put articles up there, just timely things that Bob and I are thinking about. You can check those out as well. And if you ever have a question for myself or Bob, you can email us too. Questions at bebullish.com. That's questions at bebullish.com. Bob and myself will answer all your questions directly. And again, if it's a really good question, we'll answer it right here on the show. And like every week, we got some pretty good questions. Bob, the first question comes in for you from Jerry. He's in Rye, New York. He writes in, Bob, I just looked at my social security estimates that show how much I'll get if I started at ages 62, 66, and 70. I am blown away how much more I'd get at 70. So I'm inclined to just wait until then to start taking it, even though I'll probably retire around 66 or 67. I assume that putting it off is the best course of action. What do you think? Right. I think Jerry's asking a terrific question here. It's something we address almost on a daily basis. So I'm going to ask you a few questions as if you're Jerry. So here's my first question, Ryan. Is more better than less? Yes, Bob, in the voice of Jerry. <laughs> okay. And uh, is sooner better than later? Sooner is better than later. So if you take your Social Security sooner than later, you'll have a lot more money if you don't live past 80. Now, half of us don't live past 80. So here's my other question for you, Rye. Okay. Do you feel lucky? I'd rather be lucky than good. And I do feel lucky, but I don't know how long I'm going to live. See, that's what it comes down to Social Security. You know exactly what you're going to get at 62. You know what you're going to get at 66. And you do get a big bump if you wait to your 70. However, if you take that money at 66 and you invest it or you spend it, you have all that money that you get before you turn 70, and it actually takes you to age 80 just to break even. And that doesn't account for what may happen to Social Security. Well, we all have seen these horrific articles written about Social Security and how they're going to run out of money. They're going to change your benefits. They're going to mean test it. In other words, if you're rich, they're going to tell you you don't deserve your own money. There's all kinds of things that can go wrong. So with yeah. every situation, just like every customized personal plan, you know, it really comes down to what's best for you. So we should look at your longevity, Jerry. Look how long you're going to live. Look how long your, your parents have lived, your grandparents. Look at your needs now. You know, unfortunately, the majority of people just start taking at 62 their Social Security without looking at any analysis, and that's flat out wrong. But yeah. like any other important financial decision, my son Rise built a spectacular calculator, and it's something, Jerry, you should definitely take advantage of because it'll make this decision so much easier once you see the numbers. Yeah, exactly. Just like everything else, it's going to be customized to you. There's no right way to take Social Security. There's the right way for you to take it, and that gets encountered. That's why we build that portal and we look at all those variables. Another question comes in is from Susan. She's on the Upper East Side here in Manhattan. She writes in, I don't know anything about Bitcoin, but I'm worried about missing out on the next big thing. Should I invest in it? How do you feel about Bitcoin, Bob? Well, I think that um, you know Susan hits the nail on the head. This is exactly what Warren Buffett said two weeks ago. She's a FOMO investor. Fear of missing out, for those who don't know what that means. Yes, fear of missing out. You know That's simply a bad reason to invest in anything. I want to own it because it's going up. You know, needless to yeah. say, Susan, you might not realize that Bitcoin's crashed a dozen times, you know, since it's been around. Well, the other thing to think about, too, is, you know, I always think about common sense and you want to invest in things that have a future. And we put a great article up on bebullish.com that you can check out. And the reality of it is this blockchain technology, which is the underlying technology for Bitcoin, isn't really used for that much. You know, it's been around for a little bit. And, it, you know, if you look at it, it's not an, a technology that's been embraced on a large scale. A good analogy I like to give is about 20 years ago, the internet really exploded. And everyone predicted that we would get rid of our TVs and we'd watch everything streaming. Well, if you think about it, it's 20 years later and we're just starting to do that now. So even though the potential is great, it isn't really embraced. And if you would have you know, bought the, the NASDAQ when the tech bubble was at its peak in 2000, well, you would have seen your investment fall by about 78% 
and have to wait another 15 years to break even again. So I think the bottom line is it's not a very usable technology right now. And Bitcoin itself is not used for many transactions. You know what I find amusing, Rai, is that the stock market's been going up for 200 years in the United States, compounding at a 10% annual return. And people are afraid to invest in the stock market because it's volatile, but they're really scared of missing out on Bitcoin. Yeah, and <laughs> I still think about that sense. too. <laughs> you know, we just <laughs> well, good point, Bob. And we're building our portfolio for this year, and we're starting to add things into our portfolio, like the frontier markets. You know, places like Vietnam, Indonesia, South Korea. There's all these booming economies worldwide that are relatively cheap. They're going to be fantastic investments over the next ten years. And you know, we're talking about places where they're generating income. You know, these are businesses that are that are doing really, really well. There's a viable business there, yet we want to invest in Bitcoin. Crazy. Yeah, I think that's called speculation. It's why casinos do well. That's why the lotteries have been bringing in billions of dollars. You know, it's just crazy where you have this vehicle, this vehicle with this unbelievable multi-hundred-year track record of producing wealth, the greatest wealth generator in the history of our lives, simply called the stock market, easiest thing in the world to invest in. And people are sitting there every day wondering, when's it going to crash? As opposed to, you know, let me in. And it's so easy to be in. Yeah. And if you're wondering why am I sitting on the sidelines, do I need Bitcoin or should I have a diversified portfolio that achieves my goals and my dreams? with the least amount of risk and as much certainty as any professional can provide, well, then you should be giving us a call. If you're one of the next few callers, you've saved at least $200,000 for retirement. My son and I will run for you your own personal total financial master plan. It's a full holistic review, gives you access to our 360 financial portal so you can see the probability of you achieving your goals, what steps you need to take now, We'll hold your hand along the route. We'll give you a full holistic review. We'll give you access to our 360 financial portal. And if you're one of the next 10 callers, here's exactly what we're going to do for you. We're going to have our CPA review your tax return in light of the new tax law. We're going to review your estate plan to make certain that your estate plan is not an IOU to the IRS. And lastly, we're going to do a full portfolio x-ray on all of your portfolios, regardless of where you custody your money. Let's get all those statements, put them in a shopping bag, pick up the phone, give us a call, make an appointment. We'll analyze your portfolio based on diversification. We want you to be properly protected in this ever-evolving stock market. We want to make certain that your fees are reasonable, that you're not being overcharged by your own portfolio. We want you to have a more dependable income stream. See, Ryan, I believe that income is much more dependable than capital gains. And we want to create for you your own personal 360 financial portal so you can chart your progress towards the great goals of life and see them in real time on a daily basis. And lastly, we're going to provide for you a snapshot of whether you're going to outlive your money or if your money's going to outlive you utilizing strategies that my son and I have perfected now for over 40 years. We want to help take your family from your personal point A to your point B, your goals, your dreams, with the least amount of risk and as much certainty as a professional can provide. So don't waste time. Call us now at 844-PLAN-NYC. Call or text 844-752-6692. The only holistic review to start the year off right at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's call or text 844 844- 752-6692. Don't waste time. Let's look at everything at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-752-6692. This is no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. From your first encounter with the Payne Capital Management family, you'll notice a difference. First of all, the team doesn't represent any institutions. They represent their clients. That's the power of being independent. They really separate themselves from the large brokerages and how important their personal relationship is with you, the client. You can expect frequent communication about your plan from the team. You'll have the freedom to select top investment strategies, not just one particular product. And as a fee-based financial advisory group, 
Payne Capital Management embraces its fiduciary responsibility to help you make decisions that serve your best interest and no one else's. See what the PCM difference is all about. Call today for a complimentary review. 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-752-6692. Here's this week's Spotlight on No Pain, No Gain. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. And one of Bob and I's biggest goals at Payne Capital is to educate you. We want to give you simple, practical advice that you can use so you make the best decisions about your planning and your investing. And our newest guide that breaks down the highlights of the new tax reform is available to you at no cost if you simply text the word BULLISH. That's B-U-L-L-I-S-H to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. Our accounting firm has put together simple highlights that you need to know so you can make the best decisions going into the year about what you need to do with your taxes, your investing. You can download our guide for free at 555-888. Text the word bullish to 555-888. Get our newest guide that breaks down the highlights of the tax reform at 555 555- 888. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. And it's time for my favorite part of the show, our spotlight segment, where we actually break down a real retirement case and we break down and look at some of the flaws that a specific couple is making with their planning investing. And to help us out today, we have our star financial advisor and my brother, Bob's son, Chris Payne. Good morning, brother. How are you? Good morning, brother. Good. How are you doing today? Good, good. No complaints. We got, an, like I said, an all pain morning with me, you, and Dad on the show. It just doesn't get better than that, does it? It's the trifecta, right? Dad, are you all dug out of the snow? Not yet, son. Not yet. But, uh, but I'm going to have to get a canoe. It's melting fast. <laughs> <laughs> so, Chris, you worked on a case this past week. Why don't you give us the rundown on the case and some of the, the flaws or what we call pain points this couple is making with their planning and investing. Yeah, right. So this is a really interesting case uh, for a couple of different reasons. One, this is a couple from the Philadelphia area. And they actually happen to be a little bit on the younger side in their mid-30s. And they came into quite a substantial amount of money as a result of an inheritance that they received from the sale of some buildings uh, that the family had owned. So they came into a, a little bit over a million dollars on top of some existing assets that they already had. And you know they made the really good choice to go out and seek out a financial advisor to get some advice on what to do with this money rather than you know try and do it on their own. So this couple happens to be a very close friend of mine, and they came to us and they said, you know, really, what should we do with this money? You know, we don't want to let it sit in cash because right now it's getting less than one percent. You know, what would you recommend that we do? So of course I had the uh, the dream team here at Payne Capital Management put together an analysis of what they have to help us make some recommendations. So. First thing that we did was when they when I sat down with them, I asked them what their goals were. You know, what were they really trying to achieve? And like most people, you know, the most important thing that they're trying to do is is fund retirement. And then the secondary goal for them was to fund education for their their two children. So what we did was we came up with a plan on how we should do that. What I found out was that their mom was actually gifting money every single year. So she was gifting that fourteen thousand or else fifteen thousand dollars a year towards the kids' college education. So what right. we figured out was by the time that the kids reached the age of 18, that college would be fully funded. So really, the only thing we had to worry about here was funding retirement for this, for this couple. Yeah, Chris, I noticed they had $1.3 million just sitting in cash, earning nothing. Yeah, right. That's right. And they realized that that wasn't the, really the greatest solution for this money. So what we found out was that you know, based on what they have today, you know, if we compound their portfolio over a 20-year period, they're able to actually increase their income coming into the portfolio by close to $30,000 a year. So if you look at that over a 20-year period, that's almost a half a million dollars, actually over a half a million dollars of wealth that they'd be able to generate just by having that money invested in a balanced portfolio versus less than a half a percent that they'd be getting in cash today. Well, what kind of difference does that make over a 20, 30-year time horizon, right? You know, I'm looking at the analysis of Chris Ryan here. It's six hundred seventy thousand dollars over twenty years, and I think that's the thing we always forget, right? And this is awesome, Chris. You literally increasing their income from three thousand dollars a year to forty six thousand dollars a year, and you have a lot of certainty that that forty six thousand dollars is going to come in every single year. We don't really know what the market's going to do every year, so that reliable income that you're creating for them 
that is just like a huge amount of money over 20 years. I could use another $670,000 personally. Me too. So Chris, I think this is fascinating. You, you're able to focus on retirement because her mother or his mother is contributing fourteen dollars to $15,000 a year to each child to fund education. Now, what vehicle did you use for that? Bob, so we went with the, uh, the 529 plan, which is basically a plan geared towards higher education that with any contributions that you make, once those contributions are in the plan, they actually grow on a tax-free basis. And then depending on the state that you live in, sometimes you can get a tax deduction on the state side up front. Now, this money can be used for elementary school, high school, graduate school, everything? No, it's actually uh, specifically meant for higher education. But one of the benefits of this plan is that it actually can be passed on to other family members if it's not used for the intended beneficiary. Because their their life is so well planned, are they planning on having more children now because of you? <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if that's the case, but if they do, I think we're well seated here at this yeah. point. <laughs> Just to mention, uh, with the new tax law, $10,000 a year in a 529 plan now can be used for private education for high school as well, not just college. So that's uh, that's actually another benefit now that a 529 plan can be used for, which wasn't before the new tax rule came into, uh, into play. So great job on this case, Chris. Awesome job creating more income, getting them on track to, to get to retirement. And if you're thinking to yourself, I need a review like this, I want to get my financial life in order. It's January. Get it done. We have a few slots left. If you're one of the next few callers and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, myself, Bob, and Chris Payne will run for you our total financial master plan, and we'll do it with no obligation or cost. That's a full review, a holistic review that's going to look at everything. We're going to build you your own personalized portal where we're going to look at all the different assets that you've accumulated. We're going to do a full x-ray of your portfolio. We're going to look at fees. Are you being overcharged on your investments? We're going to break down all the fees, those hidden costs you don't know you're paying, and see if we can reduce the amount of cost on your portfolio. We're going to look at income. We're able to increase this couple's income by $40,000 plus a year. That is real money, folks. Let's see if we can do the same for you. We'll run a full analysis to see if we can optimize the income on your portfolio. So important for retirement. And we're going to look at diversification. Is your money well spread out? What pitfalls, what holes do you have in your portfolio? Are you prepared if we have another market correction? We're going to show you how to hedge your portfolio and protect it against the downside. And then finally, what we're going to do is we're going to tie it all together and we're going to determine, is your money going to outlive you or are you going to outlive your money utilizing strategies now, our family, we've worked on for over four decades to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. Hey, let's start this year off just on the right foot. Give us a call at 844-PLAN-NYC. You can text or call us at 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you've saved over 200000 for your retirement, our team will run for you your own personal 360 financial portal, which will help you to chart your progress towards the great goals of life. All you have to do is call 844-PLAN-NYC. Call or text us at 844-752-6692. Well, another great show this morning, gentlemen. Chris, great to have you, brother. Any big uh, plans Pleasure. for uh, the rest of the weekend? You know, I'm going to take advantage of those uh, bass guitar lessons that you got me for Christmas. Man, I am a benevolent older brother. <laughs> you sure are. And modest as well. <laughs> and modest. <laughs> very modest. Big Bob, anything on tap for the rest of the weekend? You know, I was born in Philadelphia, and uh, the Eagles are playing. We've got a root for the home team. All right. Don't let our New York listeners hear that. <laughs> well, another great show. As always, be bullish. Information provided on today's show is provided for information purposes only and does not constitute investment, tax, or legal advice. Information has been obtained from sources that are deemed to be reliable, but their accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed. Always consult with an investment, legal, or tax professional before taking any action.